<clears throat> let's move on to a group that is as opposite of girls as you can get. Mm -hmm. um, they ain't no hippity hops. This is a group that's been around for a long time, although yeah. they recently lost a member and gained a new one. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a trio group called Gavi and Jay with their new song, Shoobidoobidoob. That's not how it's written here. It's good luck Googling that. Be -do -be. <laughs> yeah, they shooby dooby doo wee dooby wee. See, this is what G friend was smart, be -do -be -do -be. right? G friend is sometimes smart where they take a very like a, a song that if you translate in English could be like four or five words. Right. They were just like rough, right? Yeah, they're just like me gusta too. Although the new one, Navilera, not good. Like, Navi, that's hard to say. That's hard to say. It's hard to spell, speakers. right? Like, who's Googling that, right? That's pretty damn hard. Uh, but Gabby and Jay fucked it up even more, right? It's called Shooby Dooby Dooby. Yeah. Um, but that's, of course, in the chorus. They're like, Shooby Dooby Dooby. It's more like a Shooby Dooby Doo. Yeah. But they write it as Shooby Dooby Dooby Doob. Shooby Dooby Dooby. They, they created it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so. We actually have heard of Gabby and Jay, at least in name, not really the songs that they produce. Their songs have popped up on our list. We just never liked them yeah. that much. And uh, the music video starts out with kind of a, a thing that we like when debut groups come out. They show the names of each member and kind of like a you know five to ten second kind of close up of their face. Yeah. So you uh, know like who's who. You never you look in the comments, you're not going to find yeah. uh, two seconds wearing white clothes. His name yeah. is who's a who's a person at like three ten, you yeah. know, like. But this group has been around for a really long time, apparently ten years. Yeah, and so they they swapped out a member, and this they normally sing ballad songs. Is yes, they're they're a vocal group. Yeah. Um, and even though they've been around for ten years, they've had a lot of uh uh member changes, mm -hmm. and so they don't have any of the original members anymore. Yeah. But two of the three, right, because one girl's brand new, yeah. have been as Gavi MJ for at least four, four, four years. Four years. Yeah. Uh, which is actually a really yeah. long time. So they're a vocal group, and this is not a kind of a ballad song. It's more of a dance, cutesy kind of song. Yes. But it really, really uh, is good because they are a vocal group, and sometimes a dance track can get really sing-talky, or there are really portions where you know the, sing that are, the singers can't really sing very well. But there's none of that in this song. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is their first. I think their first ever uh, dance, pop dance track. Pop dance, yeah. Well, um, what do you call it? And you can really, like, I can hear, like, the song is not especially amazing, right? No, no. But I can hear the version of a lesser vocal group yeah. uh, singing this song. And if you listen to this song and you listen to, like, 90% of other girl group songs, like, I'm already very in tune with the sing talking, mm -hmm. but if you're not, you listen to the song, you listen to another song, and you're like, holy shit. There's a difference. There's a big fucking difference oh, yeah. between a group that can sing mm -hmm. and a group that cannot. And that's not always bad. Like, yeah. like are we really like twice? Mm -hmm. there are a lot of members in that group can't sing. Yeah. They do not, a lot of not really, not really string, Not really strong singers, no. Yeah. Um, most girl groups. There's that one girl that can that can sing, yeah, and the rest kind of make up for it, right? Yeah. Uh, but you can really tell that, that that maybe not not all three of them. I actually don't know if the new girl is super good, but the other two girls, you can really tell that they're singing throughout the entire pop yeah. song because their voices are really full. 
there it really just sounds like singing. singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's um, rarely a time where they like have to put any modification on it, yeah. right? They don't have to increase the volume of the backing track so mm-hmm. that it kind of drowns out the, yeah. the sing talking, right? Yeah. It's like, um, oh, people sing, right? Yeah. People can sing. Yeah. It's really actually pretty cool. Yeah, and it feels like the producer didn't really shy away from certain arrangements where they would have to sing kind of in strong <laughs> parts or like sing talky parts, but it's, it's really good in that aspect. Yeah. And uh, the song itself, is about kind of like a girl falling in love with a guy who's already in a relationship or already has a girl that he likes. And um That's weird. Yeah. It's it's kind of weird. It, it's it's new kind of new ground I think in Korean pop music because usually that's kind of frowned upon, right? Even in Western music that's a little bit frowned upon, like you know, home wrecking and things like I mean, that. She doesn't say she's gonna go for it. She just, the She's whole song like, is just oh, about, I'm crazy, I'm what crazy am I for you, what am I doing, like, yeah. can't help myself, like, yeah. he's just so, uh. I can't stop these feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Although, it, it is a very common trope in Korean dramas to, yeah. like, fall in love with somebody who's already taken. Like, well, it's kind of weird. relatable. I mean, even in real life, it happens, you know, sometimes. True, and it's awful when it's your best friend's uh, girlfriend, and uh, then... And then, but she also likes both. Oh my god! Yeah. Actually, my favorite K dramas, which I haven't watched one in a very long time, that does this, mm-hmm. is when nobody's the bad guy. Like I, mm. I watch a lot of K dramas. Again, I make videos for Drama Fever. I watch a lot of them. K drama loss. And I really don't like it when it's too obvious who the bad guy who is. the bad guy is and who mm. the one she's going to end up with. Mm-hmm. Right. There's a reason why uh, Replay 1997 yeah. is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Uh, because both guys, even though it was pretty obvious it was going to be the gook. Yeah. Uh, so and gook. Uh, but both guys were good guys. Yeah. Right. So and gook and his brother. Yeah. Um, and, th- and there are no bad girls, like breaking them. Right. Yeah. But in the last three years, it's, there's just, it's so obvious and so on the nose of like, it's, yeah. Which one's the good one and which one's the bad one? It's so boring to me. Yeah. Right? I my favorite ones like Dream High yeah. is like when the Susie there are two guys that are both equally good and yeah. you and you might root for one, you might root for the other. Um, I don't know why I went to this place. Yeah, but, but no, but like <laughs> but I, I I really like it not only in like Korean dramas but also Korean songs where it's it's not super cliche, mm-hmm. you know. And I I really think I. I like this song more than I would because this is kind of new for Korea. Yeah, a song like this, I think. Yeah. Mm. Um, but but I do think maybe if you just hear it real quickly, you're like, oh man, it's kind of a generic song. Mm-hmm. But like when we first heard it, A, we were actually very surprised we enjoyed it. Yeah. B, as we were listening to more, we were like, holy shit, some they of these voices sing. are pretty damn good. Yeah. Right? Um, and another group has tried to do it. We talked about Melody Day. Melody mm. Day started as a more vocally group. Yeah. But in Melody Days, they actually try to do more uh, dancing and a lot more mm. pop. And, and they kind of dance, but it's very basic dancing. Mm. And I think they did a good balance in um, yeah. in Gavi and Juice. Yeah. 